Google Search Console is a powerful tool to analyze the performance of your website. It's a tool that I recommend every business owner install onto their website. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to set up Google Search Console. We're gonna be going over the two easiest ways to get it set up so that you can start collecting that data on, on what people are searching for to find your website. So something that's really important, something that I wanna make sure that everybody kinda of understands how to do. And I know that this can kinda of trip people up sometimes, so I wanted to create a tutorial on this. So we are gonna start over here move ourselves over this way. So here we are at Google Search Console. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to start. You're gonna to go to search.googlesearchconsole.com and you're gonna hit this, this start button. Um, for me, because I already have a, a few websites that are set up, it's gonna take me directly into a Search Console thing. But for you, it'll ask you to log in to your Gmail account where you can go through and start the process. For me, I'm going to click down in here and add a new property. And when, uh, as soon as you've logged in, this is the screen that you're gonna see. It's gonna ask you how you want to set up your Google Search Console. Now, the absolute easiest way to get your domain verified and set up for Google Search Console is to do it through Google Analytics. So if you already have Google Analytics set up on your site, it is simple as uh, all you need to do is come over here, grab the URL of your website, come back over to our Google Search Console, copy it in there. Now it's important to know that you need to be signed into the Google at the Google account that is associated with your G, with your Google Analytics as well. So whatever email you use to create that Google Analytics account, you need to be logged into that as well in Google Search Console for this work. And then we're going to now hit continue here. And then it is going to very quickly just go through and verify based on our Google Analytics code is that based on the Google Analytics code on our website. Now, if you aren't sure if Google Analytics is on your website, there's an easy way to check. All you need to do is come over to your website and uh, download this little Chrome extension called Tag Assistant. Uh, Google just Google this uh, Tag Assistant Chrome extension. It's going to add a little Chrome button like this where you can go through and enable that then refresh your page and what this will do is it will look on your website to see if you have google analytics on there and as you can see right here we have a google analytics tag firing and that is why it was able to um, connect in our uh, connect us to search console so that's the first way and that's the absolute easiest way most people have google analytics on their on their most people have Google Analytics on their website, so it makes it really easy. But if for whatever reason you don't or you wanted to go a different route on how to verify this, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna hit done. And that takes us to a view that looks something like this. And if you wanted to get back here, you could go to this settings tab. And as you see, we are currently, we have already verified our domain, but there are other options down here. And this is a really common one is by using this HTML tag. So if we grab this, all you need to do is copy the HTML tag. And a lot of people I know use WordPress. So we're gonna go into our WordPress website. And then we are going to um, go over to the plugins. We're gonna do add new. And what we wanna search for here is insert headers and footers. There it is right there. Insert headers and footers. And as you see, I already have it on this web or on this WordPress website right here, but you're gonna to to download this. And once you have it downloaded, you can come over here to the settings here. And then you'll notice you have this little tab for insert headers and footers. We're gonna click on that. And all you need to do is grab this right here, hit spacebar a couple times. You probably, if this is your first time using this insert head and headers and footers, you won't have code here. So you can just go through and copy that paste right there, copy and paste that code, and then come down here and hit save. Wait for this to load up. There that is. And then we can go back over to our Google search console. And then we're going to click this verify button here. Sometimes this can take a second and then now we have successfully verified uh, another method for our account. Now I, do, I don't wanna get anybody confused by doing two different verification methods because you really only need to do one. So don't feel like you need to go through and verify all these different methods. You only need one of these inside of here. I'm just demonstrating how to do that. And there you have it. Those are, that is the two easiest ways to get your domain verified in Google Search Console. As you can see, there are a few other options down here that you could go through and explore if you'd like, but they are a little bit more technical. And so that's why I wanted to keep this super beginner friendly for this tutorial. And you will notice if you're wanting to go in and look at the data right away for your website after you've just set up Google Search Console. And by the way, this is all there is to, to set up basically. Now it'll just start collecting that data. But if you come over here to this overview, you'll notice that you have to wait a day or so before you can start seeing it come in. It's the same with all these different reports. It tells you that you'll have to come back in a few days. But there are lots of really interesting reports inside of here that you can use. Um, just to give you an idea of what this looks like when data is actually flowing in this overview, you can see you have your total clicks, total impressions uh, for specific search queries. 
for so this is people what people are searching for in Google to find your blog or your website, whatever it may be. We have these URLs uh, that show the coverage and different maybe places where your website is broken. So there's lots of things that you can do with Google Search Console and that's why I recommend everybody set it up so that you can come back here whenever you need it. Now this is the first video of a series that I will be creating on Google Search Console. So if you wanna learn more about that, I recommend subscribing to the channel because I'll be creating a lot more content coming out. Uh, in the next few days, I'll actually have a new video that covers all of these different settings that you see in this left-hand side, uh, going over exactly what you need to know uh, to use these to the best of your abilities and grow your your, your website and just crush it basically. And if that video, or if you're watching this video and it's a couple of days later, the video will show up here. If not, check out the description below and you'll find a link to that video. If not, come back in a couple of days and check out that video. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next one.